Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, April 8th, 2021. All right, let's get started. All right, looks like we got a couple of grid spanning answers here. I wonder if those are going to be part of the theme. Hidden addresses for short. Hmm. Hidden addresses. This feels like it's going to be some kind of wordplay, but I'm not sure where the pun is. Fashion accessories that shed? Huh. Are they boas, maybe? I don't know. Boas tend to shed a lot of feathers. That seems like a pretty good guess. Island where it once rained for 331 days straight. Wow. Um, I have no idea what that might be, but it looks like it might be Oahu, maybe? In Hawaii? Error of political parodies briefly. Maybe SNL? Saturday Night Live has a lot of political parodies. Boss of a bosun. This is a very heavily elided version of the rank of bosun, which is B-O-A-T-S-W-A-I-N, I believe. It looks like boatswain, but I think it's still pronounced bosun. Um, but yeah, so that's a, a rank on a ship. And so I think they're looking for an abbreviated rank above a bosun, which would be a captain, like Captain Hook or Captain Crunch, maybe. Um, hidden addresses for short. I guess those would be hidden addresses in an email field, maybe blind carbon copies. Yeah, that's a little tricky there. Minor performer. And this is indicated wordplay. Okay. Um, child actor, maybe? Yeah, that would make sense because that's a minor, that's a performer. I guess on its face, minor performer would be maybe like uh, a not famous person that's performing, maybe? Or maybe it's somebody that's performing in a minor key. Sick legal on, I guess could be sue if you're sicking your legal department on someone. All right, what is this long one here? Weary boaters welcome sight. Hmm. A pie in the sky? I don't think so. A pier. It looks like it's going to start with a pier, right? Because a weary boater would be happy to see shore. Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to be some kind of like wackified phrase. Winds undeservedly over. Um, I guess this is like upsets or something? Undeservedly. So if you win without deserving. Hmm. Student blank could be student debt. Oh, robs. Yeah, like if you stole the game from someone. Yeah, I guess on like a... Maybe like a bad call or like a, a fluke play or something like that. Yeah, okay. Upper atmosphere with the. Hmm. Deep pocketed could be rich. Input. That could be enter, like on a computer, I guess. Exact. Hmm. This could be like precise, or it could also be like exacting revenge. Hmm. Language written in the Devanagari script. Hmm. This word is not familiar to me at all. Maybe it's Hindu? That would fit. And I like the H in the second position here. Yeah, let's put that in as a provisional answer. Drink originally called Blanc Cassis. Hmm. Blanc is white in French, right? White something? Hmm. Like idols. Adored? Yeah, like celebrity idols would be adored. I guess religious idols would be adored also. Hmm. This is probably going to be an S, a C, a T, or a W. 
something that goes before an H. Cry on arriving for a boating trip. Hmm. Yeah, this really is looking like maybe we're getting wackified phrases that uh, turn into like sailing, sailing answers somehow. So maybe I feel like this is most likely a W, maybe. Maybe it'll be like what's, or maybe it'll be a T for that's. This is probably a T here. The ether. Yeah, if you're up in the ether. Um, I still... Exact. R reek? Like you're wreaking havoc? But then what's K-U-R? Hmm. I mean, that could be right. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Prominent focus for a navel gazer. Um. Hmm. Well, on its face, this would be... A navel gazer is somebody that kind of looks inwardly all the time and kind of focuses on themselves. I would think a punny answer for a navel gazer would maybe be about navel oranges. If this was orange, that'd be really funny, but that's... There's not enough space to put orange, so I'm not sure what it's going to be. Who we are, Paige? Hmm, who we are? Is that like on a corporate web page? It would be like explaining who the company is? Hmm. The customer's right at times. Um, is it a right to return merchandise, possibly? That seems fairly plausible. A pup is a young one, is a young dog, yeah. Wow, yeah, not, um, not being able to fill in these long, uh, boating phrases is really putting a crimp in our solving strategy here. It's hard to, to get the ends of these, so it's hard to kind of keep building off this way. Yeah, as you can see, we're just sort of like snaking our way down the left side here, kind of. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to break over it. We're probably going to have to start looking at some downs in the middle here. Victor, who wrote Ode a Ballad. Um, I think that's probably Victor Hugo, because Victor Hugo was a French writer. We got that tricky Victor Hugo clue a couple of weeks ago that was like, Victor in France or something like that. I think that's what the clue was. Yeah, that was really tricky and the answer was Hugo. 2003 number one outcast hit. Yeah, that's Hey Ya. I do remember that. I was conscious during 2003. Mean spirited? Hmm. Mean spirited. Deployed as a sailor could be a C. That's a nice little compliment to our sailing theme today. Watery shade could be aqua, an aqua blue. Barge haulers. Tugs? Yeah, because barges are big ships and tugs kind of pull barges along, right? When Tatum O'Neill won her Oscar. When? What a weird clue. Mean-spirited, I guess could be ugly. Boaters collectively. Hmm. This is looking like it's gonna start with quay. And I think a quay is another kind of like, it's kind of like a pier. It's actually looking like all of these, maybe start, are these all about like where to put boats when you're not using them? A pier and a quay are both that kind of thing. Although this doesn't really... Maybe the pier type word would be at the end of some of these. What's this one? Completely retire from boating. Hmm. Interesting. I do think this is probably going to start with quay. That's some story. 
That could be a tail. At her? Maybe this is at 10. Maybe she was 10 years old when she won her Oscar, so maybe it's not return. Okay. Okay, maybe it's refund instead. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Quay. Hmm. iRobot product. They make the Roomba, right? The sweeping robot? Okay. Quay demographic? What is the phrase that's being modified to get this? Quay demographic. Yeah, that looks like that's what it is, but I don't know what the original phrase here is. Quay. Hmm. Take in could be eat. Spoiling one's attendance records say. I guess if you're tardy, your attendance record would be marred. Look upon with disgust. Hmm. Could it be abhor? I think it could be, although HR looks a little weird. But not if it's Niels Bohr, physics nobelist who developed an early model of the atom. Yeah, that's Niels Bohr. Okay. Psalm starter? Um, is it oh god? <laughs> okay. Enjoy oneself festively. Uh, maybe it's be merry? Drink and be merry? Is this oboes? Second staff in many an orchestral score. Yeah, I guess it is oboes. Okay. Having no application. Uh, maybe it's moot? Like uh, in moot court? It doesn't actually count? Yeah, that could be. Blank Kleb. Bond villain in From Russia with Love. I think I probably saw this when I was a little kid, but I do not remember the name of the villain. Inflation figure? Uh, I don't know, is it percent? It's usually a percent, right? The yeah, inflation's usually around like 1 or 2% these days. Galactic Conquerors of Film. And they start with a C? Hmm. It's not the Empire. Verbal equivalent to a nod of the head. Hmm. I would want that to be like, uh-huh, or something like that. Belly trouble could be ache. Okay. Org concerned with airbags. Hmm. This is wordplay. So an org concerned with airbags, I think on its face would probably be about like airbags in cars. But what kinds of other airbags could there be? Would it be like... Like blimps or something maybe? Could it be like the... Uh, um, the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, I think. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's about blimps. Although this F here looks really bad. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be what it is. Wikipedia EG? Uh, is it just a site? <laughs> like a website? Um, these two E's look a little weird. I guess in Star Wars, Galaxy Conquerors were Sith, also. I would think the Empire would be more Galaxy Conquerors. The Sith, I guess, were... Well, I guess they were in control of the Empire, so I guess that's fine. Um, but then, what is this? P.S.? Inflation figure. Oh, wow, this is tricky. Is it inflation in, like, a tire? Ooh. Pounds per square inch. Yeah, like, air pressure and you're inflating a tire. Wow, that is really tricky. And then this is IC for a nod to the head equivalent. Yeah, okay. Encouraging words maybe is you got this. Yeah, I think I need some encouraging words after kind of languishing through this theme so far. So that feels good. All right, um, let's see if we can maybe build off the 
end of this one and see if we can get this second theme answer filled in. Bit of publicity. Would it be a photo? Hmm. Big meanie could be an ogre. Yeah, maybe it is photo. This would be an age then. Adam ruins everything error. Hmm. Isn't that true TV? Is that right? I think it might be. Dino is to the Flintstones as blank is to the Jetsons. I think their dog was Astro. Yeah, because Dino was the uh, little dinosaur pet, right? Okay. Cut off. Could be Sever. Yes, Queen slangy affirmative. Yep, that looks good. Okay, bring down by coup, e.g. That could be depose. Yeah, if you're like deposing a government, it's kind of a coup. So promo would be a bit of publicity. Okay. More, yeah, if you moor a ship, you're like tying it up, right? Yeah, this is, I think these are all gonna be about places to tie up your boat. Interesting, a pier, a moor, a quay. Okay. Um, forever more? <laughs> okay, I get this one, this one's cute. Instead of forever more, like from now until eternity, it's spelled M-O-O-R instead of M-O-R-E. Okay, that one makes sense. So maybe they're just homophones. So quay, is quay a word? Quay demographic? Yeah, that's still, quay doesn't sound like a different word to me. I'm, I can't think of another word that sounds close to this that would go before demographic. Hmm. Paxel may alleviate it in brief. Paxel. I think this is a drug, but I don't really know what it treats. Power point. This is wordplay. Hmm. Dallas NBA player in brief. I think those are the Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks, I believe. I'm not super great at basketball. Grab hold of. Maybe he's a nab. Yeah. Futuristic delivery device. I guess it could be a drone. Yeah, it's probably not that far in the future. I think Amazon's gonna start delivering stuff by drones probably in the next couple of years. Big gobbler. Uh, Tom is a name for a male turkey. So that would be a big gobbler, right? Hardest part of a date. <laughs> not a uh, romantic date, but a fruit date would be the pit. Title for the entitled, maybe. I guess that could be Sir. If you literally have a title, you would be called Sir, I guess. Um, so that's what's up, Doc. There we go. Ooh, that's a great one. And it's Doc CK instead of the Bugs Bunny version, which would just be the C at the end. Wow. That is a great, great one. What's up, Doc? Forevermore. Quay demographic. I still don't get this one. All right, let's stop thinking about that one. It's just causing causing pain. All right. Um, can we get this one now? Yeah, who we are page could be about us. Yeah, like on a web page. That's kind of what we were thinking, right? City in the Rio Grande Valley with a historic namesake. Hmm. I don't know, Alamo maybe? That's a that's kind of like the right part of the country, right? That's like Texas area. Emerald is a variety of it. Are they talking about a gemstone? Or just the color? Hmm. Springtime. Beginning of the Constitution abbreviated. Hmm. Well, there's a preamble to the Constitution. I don't know if that's what they're asking for. Hmm. Is the Constitution a ship, maybe? Because I wonder if that could be like USSN or something like that. You know how the ships have prefixes? Let's take this out, because this is a pretty wild guess. You saved me. 
I guess that could be my hero. All right, maybe it was, maybe it was Alamo after all. Uh, flamenco shout should be Ole, I think. Yeah, okay, let's put Alamo back in. Should have the courage of my convictions. Uh, who is this? Barrel, B E R Y L. I feel like I've seen that word in relation to minerals, so I think I'm gonna put it in. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Hopefully the goose can enlighten us as to what barrel is exactly. <laughs> Prominent focus for navel gazer, I guess could be if you're literally looking at your navel, your belly button, instead of figuratively. Um, you could be looking at an Audi instead of an Innie. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of funny. That's like the original phrase is kind of taking this idea literally and turning it into a figurative idea about like, well, you're focusing on yourself. You're not literally looking at your navel. And then this pun clue is kind of retaking that and focusing it back on the literal interpretation. So we're kind of back where we started. It's interesting. Um, okay, I don't think this is going to be the beginning of a, a ship. Um, it, is it maybe like Article 1? Of the Constitution? Would that be Art 1? I don't think I've ever seen that abbreviation before. Um, so maybe this is appear, like as an A P P E A R, like it appeared suddenly. Appear out, or maybe appear of, appear on, maybe? Appear on the horizon? I think it's probably going to be appear on the something. Um, springtime could be Lent. Yeah. Okay. That's like Lent takes place during the spring. Okay. Um, flying monsters in Dungeons and Dragons could be rocks. Those are like giant birds, mythological birds. Okay. Obsessive compulsive disorder is alleviated by Paxil. Okay. Uh, PowerPoint. I guess that would be a socket, like an electrical socket. That's where you would get power. Yeah, that's a good wordplay clue there. That's nice. A pup is a young one. Oh, interesting. We've got a pair. We've got this one. A pup is a young one. And this one. So what's another animal that has pups? There's kind of a lot of them, I think. Um, it's not orca. Maybe an otter? Yeah, I think otters have pups. Yeah, they're kind of related to dogs distantly, right? Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Um, a snail can sleep for up to three years and others. Uh, could it just be facts, maybe? Is that true? Three years? Rapper with a hyphenated name. Is it Ice-T? It could be. Yeah, he's on Law & Order, right? All there, uh, maybe sane. I think that's another way to say someone's sane. Uh, hard ball, could that be a fist? If you ball up your hand, it's a fist. Okay, source of a purple puree, that's acai. Yeah, if you have an acai bowl, that's a purple puree. I love acai bowls. Um, okay, appear on the scene. Okay, nice, yeah. That is kind of what we were thinking, right? Okay. And the category is tier. Yeah, I guess if you're like sorting things into a list and ranking them, they'd be categorized into tiers, like a tier list. Okay, so what is this going to be? Reek? I think it has to be reek. Maybe reek vengeance or something like that. You would exact vengeance. And then kur, blank casis. Interesting. Let's see if that's what it is. Hmm. I guess not. All right, let me figure out what we have wrong. And once I spot it, I'll bring you back in. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm just looking at this square right now. And I think, I think what I, I think what I did wrong was I put the language as Hindu, but I think the language is Hindi. I think the religion is Hindu. 
So I think that's the mistake there. It makes sense that it's on this word because this is a word I didn't recognize. So I think it's gonna be Kier. I think maybe I, I actually have heard this before now that I, I think it's K-I-R. Um, I think maybe that has cropped up on a puzzle in the last few months. Yeah, I probably should have recognized it, but yeah, crossing, I thought Hindu was right, but I think it is Hindi, okay. All right, let's see if that's what does it for us. Nice, okay, yeah, that was our mistake. Okay, yeah, it's Kier. I forget exactly what this is, but I think it has shown up, I think it showed up in a puzzle in January maybe, and I just didn't remember it, yeah. That's a tricky little cross there, yeah. Hindu is the religion and Hindi is the language. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about this theme. Appear on the scene, What's Up Doc, and Forevermore are great. Um, I just don't understand what the meaning of this phrase is. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit here for a minute and think about it. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for it. So I'm going to sit here and think about it for five minutes and then hopefully come back to you with my best explanation of what a Quay demographic is. Okay, well, I did a little bit of research. I had a feeling what was happening here was that I was not pronouncing this word correctly, Quay. I've only ever read this word. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say it out loud. So I was like, you know what? I probably am not pronouncing it properly and that will probably be the answer. So I tried to sit here and think about different ways you could pronounce it. I was like, qua e, qua a, qua, and I just couldn't come up with anything that made sense. So finally, I just looked it up in the dictionary and I was like, how do you pronounce this? And it's pronounced key, like, like a lock and key. So it's key demographic. So key demographic is definitely a thing I've heard that's like when you're thinking about like a marketer trying to market some of their products to people that would actually be interested, that would be a key demographic. So that explains key demographic. There we go. We finally got a good explanation for that. Um, yeah, I had to, I just had to look up this word key in the dictionary because I don't know if I would ever have thought to pronounce it key. It just looks like quay to me. So yeah, now I know how to properly pronounce key. So next time I go to the marina, I won't completely embarrass myself. And um, yeah, I have to say I liked, I like this a lot now that I know that this is another good theme answer with a good um, kind of homophone uh, phrase. Yeah. It's really nice. I wonder how many people are going to get tripped up on this. I feel like this is a pretty arcane like boating word. I wonder how many people are going to know that it's pronounced key. I'll be interested to see that. Let me know what you think in the comments. If Did you know how to pronounce key properly? Or uh, am I kind of the uh, the lone landlubber that didn't know how to pronounce it? Um, and uh, as for how the rest of the puzzle went, I think it was great. Um, yeah, it was really full of wordplay, which is exactly what I like to see on a Thursday. Minor performer, prominent focus for a navel gazer, um, PowerPoint. Yeah, there's just so many good ones. Um, and there's just a bunch of good other uh, fill also, even non, um, non wordplay fill like Roomba. Um, you got this is a nice piece of long fill. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here that I really like. Uh, and, and there's a, a little bit of a mini extra like nautical theme going on here. Boss of a bosun. It's pretty tricky. Um, a C. Yeah. Yeah, this was a really fun one. I like this a lot. Oh, and we didn't look at this. What, what did this end up being? Okay. It's the TSA because they check your bags when you go on airplanes. Okay. Yeah, Transportation Security Administration, I think that stands for. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. All right. Well, nice. Um, thank you for sailing the seven seas with me on this nautical themed puzzle. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow with a themeless Friday puzzle. All right. I think that's going to do it for now. I'll catch you salty sea dogs next time. Mm -hmm.